what's up what's going on welcome back to the channel and man it's it's been a minute since i made a video and um i just been lazy with the video game so anyway today i'm talking to y'all about a new product not necessarily new to the market but new to me and what is it it's these wahoo man the new wahoo pedals of course they bought out uh speed play I don't know, a while ago. So a couple of reasons why I went to these pedals, right? One of the problems I had when I started getting into road biking more was when I was in Korea, I wanted a, a solid bike fit and I could not get that done. Um, just finding a place to do it, the language barrier, so on and so forth. Since I've been back in the States, I've had two bike fits, right? Um, I had one maybe three weeks ago and then the other one I most recently had, which was a week ago. And so far, the bike fitting experience is, it's been great. If anyone is getting into cycling, you're getting you a solid bike and you want to get comfortable, you want to learn more, learn more, I would say get a bike fit. If you start with that, I think it'll bring you so much further ahead than trying to figure out stuff on the back end. Because one of the problems that I personally had was when I was starting to get into cycling more, I had a TT bike. And I'm very comfortable on my TT bike. I had a, I got a, I did a bunch of research about the TT bike, the riding position and all that. And I kind of brought that to the road bike game. And it's different. It's different geometry, where you sit. And it's just, it's just different. And that was the reason why I was not very comfortable on my road bike. Because I thought, I took all the stuff I learned from TT and brought it to the road bike. And it's, it's not the same. But anyway, we passed that now. So when I was going to my last bike fit, I was talking to the gentleman, uh, this guy named Brad, and I was telling him what I wanted to do. Brad understood the type of riding that I want to do and the riding style that I like. And he was recommending that I, you know, get these pedals. And I had been looking at these pedals for a while, just never thought I'd pull the trigger on them. So I was like, if I'm going to get a bike fit, it makes sense to get the pedals and then also let him put them on and just start off good with someone who know, knows what they're talking about. So, of course, this ain't no unboxing or nothing like that, but I will have some light like, B-roll so you can kind of see what the pedals look like so far, uh, just for your own knowledge. I will say so far, man, it, it's been great, man. It has been great. I would recommend these pedals to anyone. And I'm going to tell you about my experience with them. So before, I was running like the, the, the look style cleats. And I will say this. I always thought I needed float, right? And it's not that I needed float. I needed float in the right direction. With the speed play pedals, it really lets you dial the float in specifically where you need it. So during the fit, I was telling Brad, I was like, hey, man, I'm having problems like usually like my, my right knee, kind of like front knee pain after, a, you know, Maybe like 15 miles in the ride, you know, kind of hurts a little bit. And one of the problems that I was having was it was the float that I had from the pedals. So in the beginning when I'm riding, you know, I'm full of energy. I'm not tired. There's no fatigue. I don't think about pedaling. You know what I'm saying? But then after I've been riding for a while, let's say, like I said, like, you know, 15 miles in, maybe a thousand feet of elevation, you know, coming out the saddles like or sitting down. My, my feet are starting to get kind of um, sloppy. And then that was causing my knee pain. Now I'm not feeling that, right? So I got about 50 miles on these pedals so far. The first ride that I rode on these was the Tour de Watopia Stage 1, the long ride. The ride was 23 miles, about 1,500 feet of elevation. And I was kind of pushing a little bit because it's kind of like a race, kind of like a competition. So I told myself right out the gate with my new adjustment, how the pedals fit, let me jump on here and see how it does. When I got done with that ride, I felt no knee pain, no more knee pain. And it was because I was using float only where I needed float at. And for the most part, man, my feet are pretty much locked in. And when, when Brad was telling me about having my feet more locked in and kind of dialing the float, I'm not going to lie, that kind of scared me because before all the pedals that I was using, I, uh, the cleat, I would have at least like nine degree float. And I tried like, you know, zero degree float, three degree float, six degree float. 
and I always had a bunch of knee pain Dang. trying to use those. But like I said, with the Wahoo speed play joints, you can dial it in specifically for where you want. If I had to describe it with saying like one word, I would say precise. Precise float is what these will give for you. Um, they got a couple different variations of these. You know, they got the power ones, and I was looking at those, but they're like a thousand bucks. And right now, I still have my power meter uh, for Vero pedals, and I didn't want to. I didn't know if I want to switch over yet because these Wahoo ones went on my road bike, and then my Favero ones. I'm gonna put my for, my Favero ones are on my TT bike, and because on my road bike I have a crank based power meter, it didn't matter what kind of pedals I was running. I can run any type of pedals, you know, and then. Initially, I was going to go with the, the speed play comps, which is the cheapest ones for like 150. But once again, like I said, when I was talking to Brad, he was like, you know, you got the speed play zeros. They're a little bit lighter, but the biggest thing is like um, the hardware. It had the stainless steel spindles, and I think these were like 70 or 80 more dollars than the comp. But to me, it was like, I'm going to ride the bike if it's going to be more durable and last longer. And it's 80 more dollars just spend it. So that's what I did. I just spent it. Um, I put them on my shoe, right? Some of the things that I noticed, right, is, man, these things are heavy, right? So this shoe is the Specialized uh, XO. And this is a crazy light shoe, right? People who don't know this shoe, haven't seen this shoe, or never rode this shoe, they're, like, super surprised. Because even, like, you know, Brad, I remember I gave my shoe. He was like, wow, that's that's light. I said, yeah, you know, I know. And he's like... Man, these are like really light. I'm like, yeah, I know. He's like, they like really, I was like, yeah, man, I know. But now that this cleat system is on here, they actually feel like a regular shoe now. And it's kind of like, I don't really know how I feel about that. I mean, it is what it is. Of course, once you clip into the bike, it don't really matter anyway. But before, when I had a traditional cleat on here, man, you, the shoe felt mad, mad light. And they're still light. But now it almost feels like a regular shoe because of the weight of the system. But because how these are designed, they are way easier to walk in. And I say the biggest adjustment was the clip in process. So before with like a regular style cleat, you know, your your pedal usually sits up and you kind of catch the front and then you clip in the back. These are kind of different with the way the pedal is designed. It's kind of round and it's like you put your foot on the pedal. You press and you kind of wiggle and it clicks in. It's not hard, it's just different. And for me, clicking out is even easier because I have, I have less float. I have more of that precise float. So, total I got about 50 miles on these pedals like I said the first one I did that tour of Watopia uh, stage one the 25 miles like 1500 feet of elevation and then the second ride I did was just like a leisure ride same thing about 25 miles uh, like 1500 feet of elevation and man it felt it felt great it felt like whenever I would reach a point of fatigue or a point where I'm like stressing myself like trying to put some power down or I'm jumping out of the saddle trying to climb my legs and knees felt so much better because there was no room for them not to track where they needed to track because I had precise float. And that alone to me is well worth the money that you pay for them. So I'm really liking that, man. The Wahoo Speed Play uh, pedal system is, it's what's up. I can see why everyone says they, they like the truth. So if you are interested in these pedals, I'm telling you, go out and get you some. And if you do not have a smart trainer, man, I would highly recommend that you look into those Wahoo rollers. The thing about the Wahoo rollers is that you need a power meter to make the rollers work. But right now, I think they got a there's a, a bundle going on. So you can get like the Wahoo rollers with the Wahoo power meter pedals. And I think the bundle is like, Man, I want to say it's like thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars, which is crazy because the pedals alone are like a thousand bucks, and then the trainer is like seven hundred bucks. So instead of spending seventeen hundred, man, you can spend like fourteen, fifteen, and you'll have power. You'll have power for the trainer, and you have power for the road. So 
if I knew what I know now and I was getting into cycling and I was thinking about getting a trainer and I wanted power, I would get that Wahoo bundle and just be done with it. So more to follow, y'all. I'm looking at getting another set of cleats so I can put them on my uh, specialized Aries so I can see what that's about and put some more miles on these pedals and I'll keep y'all informed of what's going on. So, oh, also, mad random, right? I'm thinking about getting another bike. And I'm torn, right? I'm looking at the Bianchi XR4, and I'm undecided whether I get a rim brake or a disc brake, and then the uh, Factor Oster Dam. The Factor, if I get that bike, it'll be new, and it's going to run me like 8,500, but it's everything. One piece bar and stem carbon wheels, just everything is done. If I get the Bianchi XR4, if I go disc and get it new, it's going to cost me like 10K. Now, if I get a Bianchi XR4 and go rim brake, I, I can find a frame all day. And if I get a rim brake frame and like move my components over, my DI2 and all that, I could probably be in it for like maybe like four grand. But which one do you think I should get the Bianchi XR4 or the Factor Vamp Ostro. Let me know something in the comments, man. And until next time, y'all, I'm out. Rob Armstrong.